Like, you know, Monday is National Best Friends Day. Especially in stressful and difficult times like we're all facing right now, friends are pretty important, especially for your kids. Author Julia Cook joins us this morning to share why it's so important for kids to build friendships and how she conveys that message in her books. Good morning, Julia. How are you? I'm well, thank you for asking. The importance of friendship. We know this for adults. It seems pretty obvious, but kids really in particular is pretty important. Yes, um, you know, going through life is hard. And if we have just one friend, one good person who gets us in our corner, it can make a huge difference. Children who don't feel like they have any friends, you know, it feels very devastating to them and can cause a lot of issues. And it's important to know how to teach our kids how to be a good friend so that friendship building is easier. And having friends does more than just make you feel good. I mean, it's often the key to what? Your physical, mental strength, maybe even resilience. Exactly. You have to have that one person that you can count on to build you up when you need as well. So like I said, you know, it's, it's, you cannot be your child's peer. So your job is to teach them tools that they need to have so that they can make good friends and then provide them opportunities to do that. And now, obviously, they're looking at us. They're kind of modeling our behavior. Do you have any tips on right. how we can model that how to make friends behavior for our kids? Sometimes it's not easy to put yourself I do. out there. I, you have, I have a book called Making Friends is an Art, and it talks about the second edition. And it talks about how to be a friend and how to make friends. And basically, you need to practice getting out there. Um, and when we're, you know, when we're at home and we're quarantined a little bit, that's a great practice venue because our kids are comfortable. So we practice modeling with our kids. You say, hi, my name's John. What's your name? And, you know, because it's really hard to put yourself out there. Another thing is if you teach your child to be golden, if you teach your child to treat others the way they want to be treated, then and, and you teach them to be positive and, and, and act like a positive person in most situations, your kid is going to have more, more friends than they know what to do with. And I always tell my kids, you know, you should be friendly to everyone, but you get to choose who you pick as your friends. Because there's some people who will pull you up and some people who will bring you down, and it's your choice to decide who your friends will be. It's amazing. And, you know, another one is, you know, we want to make sure that every we teach our kids that everybody's unique. And we're all different, and we need to celebrate differences as much as we can. Uh, and let's that see. Gold, that golden rule is obviously super important. Now, during, we have social distancing obviously <laughs> happening right now. So it, does that make it more difficult? They, I mean, you can't head to the playground and play with a bunch of kids. I mean, how do we provide those opportunities for our kids to meet and talk and play with others? Well, you know, you can do it via, you know, screen. But what really matters right now is that you're practicing the skills so that the kids, when they do get out there, they have the tools they need. Teach them flexibility and teach them compromise. And, you know, watch shows with them where characters in the show are good friends and people like that person. Why? Why does everybody like this person? What What do you think, you know, why does everyone like that character? And, and, and. They just, you need to teach your kids the things that they need to be likable. If your child is a likable person to other people, they will never struggle with friendship. Uh, love that uh, golden rule and flexibility and boy compromise. Compromise is a, is a big right. key in exactly. every relationship. Thank you so much for the time, Julia. You can follow Julia Cook on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and at Julia Cook Online if you want to take a look at some of those books and other information. Thanks once more for joining us. Next on